We are zero mass water and our technology source hydro panels use sunlight and air to make drinking water. We have two very exciting announcements here at CES 2020. Both our source Rexy hydro panels that are optimized for residential, small business, and school rooftop water production. They're more compact, easier to install. And then we also are unveiling our source fields, which are large fields of hydro panels designed to make an unlimited amount of water. We can make any amount of water for hospitality partners, commercial applications, governments, and entire communities. Together, you can see that from the individual all the way to the entire community application, the future of water is renewable. And with these two announcements, that renewable future is existing today. So the hydro panel technology is capturing moisture from the air, from the humidity, collecting that into a very special hygroscopic material. And we use solar thermal to passively condense that moisture as pure liquid water. We add magnesium and calcium so that the water is delicious and it's good for you and it goes right to a drinking water tap. So when you look at the cost of water, particularly at the individual level, people are spending a lot of money to upgrade our, your water supply to make sure that it's the quality you need. Unfortunately, a lot of those upgrades don't actually give you high quality water. For example, no water filter is going to get out every contaminant. And so when you're comparing against, you know, for example, bottled water, source water is far cheaper and it's a higher quality. So bottled water, for example, costs about 50 cents per liter. Our water is at 15 cents per liter. You know what's interesting about water is that we still get it the way the Romans got water. It falls from the sky, it soaks into the ground, and we move it far distances to get to people. But that leaves a lot out of our control, and that leaves our access to that water vulnerable. And what we're doing with Source Hydro Panels is tapping into that natural water cycle in such a way that we can make water accessible and renewable anywhere in the world. The future of water is where water is a renewable resource, where we don't think about water as a finite supply, but rather a rate of production. We're very excited to see the growth that we've had in the last few years. We're moving very quickly. We're already in more than 36 different countries, and we're working with partners who have already created, for example, in the solar industry, a lot of the models and opportunities that our technology fits right into.